Hi everybody! Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back to me. I'm back in the craft room after my 11 days away, and I've got our diary, I've got a huge cup of coffee, I need it, trust me, and uh, oh, I'm so happy to be home. It's only for one night, you guys. I'm home for one night, and then I have to hit the road again because I'm uh, heading to the city with my mom to take her to some appointments. So I'll be gone again for another couple days. And uh, yeah, the old Ford Edge has over 435,000 kilometers on it. <laughs> and going strong. <laughs> So, life is good. Life is good. Look at, look at our cute little journal. Uh, diary. Diary. It says right there, diary, not journal. It's so hard to get out of that. That habit of saying journal. But yes, there's our beautiful diary. So anyways, while I was gone, I only had one day to go... Pr um, thrift shopping or shopping at all there she is there's our our uh, pioneer woman I bought her latest magazine one day when I was out and about let's see what does that say summer 2024 6.99 which isn't bad as far as magazines go so I'm gonna turn off the light here the uh, overhead light because I can see the glare. Oh, where's the power? There it is. The glare is too much. Okay, the other glare is from my room light, so we're just going to have to live with that. But, um, yeah, there she is. Nice magazine. And I thought maybe since I'm fresh back and I have you know, brain fog because there's so much going on and so much to do and I'm doing laundry at the same time, trying to repack my bag, blah, blah, blah. I thought maybe we'd just do a little flip through of uh, the Pioneer Woman and get, get some inspiration. So it's a nice magazine. I'm, I'm impressed with it. Uh, see what I'm saying about the borders around the pages? That's kind of what I want to do in our diary. That's an inspiration. And the color, right? The color is fabulous. Look at these. If I can pick it up. Look at the butterflies. Aren't those cute? I think we can uh, do something with that as an inspiration. I also like, you know, things like this. Could be inspiring. Oh, a cruise. Hmm. As fun as they sound, I don't think I could do a cruise. Simply because I get um, very motion sick on boats. So bummer. I would I mean that just looks like awesome. But anyways, moving on. <laughs> uh Hmm, there's another pretty page border, right? We're going to use all these. I'm going to cut these out. And look at that. Little plate. Pretty. I don't know. I see a I see clusters or something. I see flowers. I don't know. These little squares are even interesting. Hmm. <laughs> yes, so oh yes. Oh, I love her shirt. I love her shirt. I could totally see me wearing a shirt like that. Um, yeah, yeah. Cute little puppies. She's got puppies. So my vacation, as as you might may call it a vacation, it was my vacation time. Put it that way. Just wait. I need a sip here. my vacation, which was a working vacation, because um, even though I was with my grandbabies, look at these water flowers, watercolor flowers, beautiful. 
Um, it's always fun to be with your grandchildren. Mine are very young. Um, my granddaughter's five and my grandson is two. So as fun as it is to be with them, I was alone with them for the whole week. So I was responsible for them being alive, <laughs> put it that way. <laughs> so that adds on a whole different layer to grannies coming for a visit. I was the responsible adult, so I had to, you know, it wasn't a vacation, let's put it that way. It was a lot of work. And there's another butterfly. I love her shirt. Very cute. More borders. Every page has a different border. I love that. I think they're different. Aren't they? They're different, right? Yeah, totally different. Love that. Um, this is cute. So anyways, I'm pooped, you guys. I am completely pooped. Here's some of her clothing inspiration. And I just saw this morning, while I was having breakfast, I watched uh, a little YouTube of one of my favorite um, YouTubers, YouTube video, um, Cat Hand. And she was doing things with magazine clothing images and I think we're going to use some of her ideas so very cool to see these awesome clothing patterns because that will come into play later down the road. Oh, eyelet, oh yes please. So we can do eyelet in our um, journal. Isn't that neat? Look at those earrings. I love anything lace, old, vintage, and the belt, look at that, so cool. Yeah, the skirt, gorgeous. I love it all, I love it all. I, You know, when I started this journal, or my, this diary, it's not a journal. When I started this diary, all because I found an old Pioneer Woman magazine at the thrift store. And then I started cutting up these borders and putting this together. Next thing you know, we're making a Pioneer Woman diary. And then the next thing I know, I'm getting Pioneer Woman cookbooks. I don't even like cooking, okay? I knew nothing about this woman, really. I, I had read her first book just out of curiosity years ago, but it didn't really take you know like I wasn't inspired to watch her shows read her other things make her recipes all that but now as I'm flipping through some of this stuff and I'm like I totally dig it I dig the eyelet I dig the flowers I dig the colors the everything I'm thinking I think I like the pioneer woman after all I'm a fan so yeah, this is exciting, this is fun. And I haven't seen anybody else doing a Pioneer Woman inspired diary. So kind of nice to be doing something nobody else is doing at the same time. Yeah, I mean, outdoors, flowers, right? This is, this is what I love. So look at this, I mean, we can totally use these these plate images, right? We're gonna have fun with this. I I'm I'm excited. So, anyways, as I'm flipping through, I'm gonna just chat about my week away, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty tired, somewhat sore, because you know, I started out in the guest bedroom. And then once mom and dad left, and it was just me and the kids, I ended up in mom and dad's bed, grandson's bed, granddaughter's bed, back down to the guest room. Um, now last night I slept in my bed, and my back is killing me, okay? It's like, would you pick a frickin' bed already? Like, come on. Um, yeah, my, my neck, I woke up so stiff this morning I couldn't even turn my head. Oh, it was awful. 
Sorry, I need, I need more coffee. Keep the coffee coming. <laughs> so anyways, um, the good news is I kept the kids alive. <laughs> it was successful. <laughs> we had a really good time together. Lots of um, playing, lots of park time, lots of not eating healthy, um, lots of doing whatever was required to keep them happy, even if that meant they got to watch some shows that mom and dad probably would have said, no, you're not watching that show. Well, Granny said, yeah, sure, you can watch that show while I throw in a load of laundry and make supper. I mean, I always say, you do what you got to do, right? <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. And if it kept them out from under my feet for 10 minutes so I could get supper made and the next load of laundry changed. Love this color. Love it. Um, yeah, I don't feel guilty for that. Not at all. And that's how I raised my kids too. It was like, you know what? I got to get some stuff done. So how about you do this while I go do this and I'll be back in five minutes and... Yeah, so I did what I had to do, and the kids were happy, and I was happy because they were happy, and we all came out alive in the end. <laughs> so, <laughs> as it turned out, though, the night my son and grand uh, goddaughter, no, hold on, let me rethink this. The night that my son and daughter-in-law returned home, they got home very, very late from the airport. Like, it was like almost two in the morning. So by the time they walked in, um, everyone was asleep in their own beds, which was the one and only night that uh, the little guy slept in his own bed alone. And um, the house was clean and quiet. And, you know, the next morning when the kids woke up, the little guy, doesn't he go straight to the bathroom, pulls his stool over to the toilet, pulls his diaper off, sits on the toilet, and calls for his dad. Daddy, I pooped. I pooped. <laughs> and so my son wakes up and runs in there, and he's like, what in the world? You've never pooped on the potty before. This is the first. He was so impressed. He's like, what happened while we were gone? I mean, we come home, the house is perfect. The kids are asleep perfect in their own beds. The son has learned how to poop in the potty. I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm just amazing, right? Like, totally potty trained your kid while I was while you were gone. And it was a breeze. <laughs> Such a fake. I didn't do squat, you know? He just decided on his own that that was the day he was going to get up and poop in the potty all on his own. So it made me look really good. But uh, the only thing I like out of this page is that. <laughs> the flowers. I'm not sure how I could possibly use um, all the baking, the cooking. I'm still not into the cooking. I'm sorry. It's going to probably take me a hundred years to... I'm just flipping back. Yeah, it's all recipes. Nothing I want. Yeah, so anyways, that was quite funny. My son and daughter-in-law thought I was some sort of miracle worker. But no. No, not quite. Just good timing. Lucky timing. And it made me look very good. I love it. Love it. We're going to use that. Just like we've done before. Unfortunately, the Pioneer Woman is mostly... I mean, her claim to fame is cooking, I think. She's got a lot of other things kind of on the side. But... Really, her cooking is what she's famous for, and I mean, I've looked through the recipes, and I'm like, oh, that sounds really yummy, and doesn't look that hard, but nah, not there yet. Not ready to, to become a good cook. I do want to read this book, though. I saw this, Prairie Man, My Little House Life and Beyond. You remember Manly from Little House on the Prairie? It was their 50th anniversary this year and uh, 
I'm a huge, huge Little House on the Prairie fan. Always was. Um, watched it growing up, and I have the whole collection and uh, of the show every season, every episode. And I've watched and rewatched many times. And yeah, I just, I mean, hasn't he aged well? He was handsome then, and he's still handsome. And I would like to read that book, see what he says. But anyways, and, and this picture caught my eye as well. Isn't that pretty? I mean, how simple to just frame a pretty picture. I mean, yeah. Her ideas are simple, but so nice. I love it. Look at that. Don't you just want to walk on down that road and see where it goes? I do. So, yeah. Yeah, it was a very good week. I didn't get to go visiting anyone um, other than my mother-in-law who lives there. So the, the grandkids call her Gigi, which means great-grandma. And, um, yeah, so Gigi came and, well, she brought us supper one night, and she also had us over to her house one night for supper. So, you know, I didn't have to cook as much as I thought. Uh, we ate a lot of um, spaghetti because the kids like spaghetti, uh, hot dogs, that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Oh, and then this. I mean, postcards, yes, please. I love sending and receiving postcards. So, yeah. Love that. I just love it. That could be an awesome background page for something. Even this strip. We could do... Red, white, blue, red, white, blue. That's that's awesome. And these are um, pictures of old postcards. Could totally use those somehow. Yeah, give some as gifts. Don't you think that's a good idea? I mean, when's the last time you got a letter or a postcard in the mail from someone? Nowadays, we're just so... I don't know. We have the technology to be um, close in and in each other's lives easier, but yet we seem more far apart. I don't know. I'm a big fan of sending and receiving mail. So anyways, that's our uh, Pioneer Woman magazine flip through. I, th I think it's great, um, considering subscribing just because I really like the magazine and the pretty images and so many things inside of it interested me that, uh, yeah, for the price, I think it's really good. Most magazines now I see are, oh, $12 up in price, like $12 Canadian. So that's, that's a lot of money. I'm sorry. I think that's a lot of money. So uh, the max I'll spend is $8 for something I really want. I flip through it first at, in the store and, and think, yeah, okay, maybe. So there we go. Here's her subscription card, and I might just think about it, but it's only four issues a year, so hmm, I don't know. It also, I'm not sure they send to Canada, so we'll see. I'll have to investigate that further. Anyways, I'm going to finish my coffee, and maybe we can work on a little project here. I'll think about what to do. Be right back. Well, I've decided to make some belly bands for in our diary, and I don't want to tax my brain too hard because I'm fresh off my working holiday, and I just don't want to... Uh, <laughs> take on a tough project. So I was flipping through some of the magazine and um, this was from the first Pioneer Woman magazine I found and I thought, ooh, that would look really quite nice as a belly band. And then I found this scrap and this picture of flowers and I'm thinking maybe that could be some sort of a belly band. And then I had this scrap of 
yellow um, printed paper and I thought this was the border on this uh, top page here of our new magazine and I just thought oh that looks quite sweet together so that's what we're going to do we're going to make three belly bands today I'm going to get out my little cutter and square off some of this. Let's just check and make sure it's going to fit. Yes. Okay, I'm going to chop off the part that says Pioneer Style. Don't want that on my page. Just line that up. Get rid of that little bit. Maybe we can use that somewhere else. And I know that this side and this side are square now, so I'm going to come in and even off this edge if I can. Uh, I gotta go in a bit. But I don't want to chop my flowers, so uh, that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Let's see. Did we get a nice smooth? I think so. Maybe just a titch more. Because uh, I do have a little bit of a rough edge there. So let's try that one more time. I'm just trying to see if I've got that somewhat square. I think I do. Um, just in a bit. Let's try that. That looks better. And this edge, of course, will get cut off because it's going to be too long for the page. But we can go maybe right here, line it up with that line. And yes, I'm not chopping off any flowers. So, what I'm thinking is, yeah, I have this um, little scribble mark here on this scrap piece. So I think we'll get rid of that too. Now how wide do we want our belly band? I want to kind of put it like that. I like um, bordering uh, bordering the border. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> I'm going to border that border. Uh, let's see. Okay. Winging it here. Just winging it as usual. Um, Try and find my page here. Hold on, hold on. Let's get organized. So that's going to be there. Let's just grab a page out of our journal so we know how big to make our belly band. So here's a page. It's not the best page because you can't see it very good. Let me find one that's a bit darker. And here's a good one. This one will do. There we go. That shows up a little bit better. So I want to make sure that I have a bit of border around it. It's going to be about there. And so I'm going to want to make a mark. Where's my pencil? There it is want it to be about maybe there. So we'll chop it there. Oh, I guess I could do that on camera. Still half asleep, you know. I've only had about two cups of coffee. And I'm, I'm so tired. Oh, those little, little grandkids wore me out as young as I used to be. Okay, so if we do that, um, I might cut it so that flower and this flower end, end it. Maybe. Yeah, let's do that. Let's cut this off. 
right there. Where do I want that little yellow flower? Let's try that. Keep that little yellow flower. This could be another long video. <laughs> By the time I get my crap together. Yeah, we could cut it right there, I think. Aren't these borders pretty? I really like them. Let's see, is that too long? Oh, yeah, totally too long. We need to go... Oh, I cut the wrong part. Okay, we need to cut it more like there. Okay, let's see. I'm going to turn it so I have the longer end on this end. That might be too long, too. That looks better. Okay, just going to save this little flower for something else somewhere down the line. Okay. Oh, that's going to look sweet. Let's check it on our page here. That would be my little belly band. Just like that. So I kind of want to cut it maybe out here. That'll go maybe there, and this can go on there. Oh, that's going to be adorable. Yeah, that'll be a cute little belly band. And then we can we can tuck something in there, journaling card or um, a tag. Okay, so we'll we'll glue those together, and then my second one. I just thought this um, flower, these flowers were pretty, and I really like this. is a page border from the Pioneer Woman book, so maybe we'll just kind of make it like that. I think I want to save these big flowers and cut them out. Um, fussy cut those for something else. So I'm going to start with <clears throat> with my flower big flowers so let's do this again I think I'm gonna go like cut this off around here somewhere and maybe even higher let's go about there and about there and of course it's too big to fit in my my cutter, so I'm just gonna take some off so it'll fit. This is just magazine image, so there's nothing precious there. Oh, except I totally cut off my marks. <laughs> way to go, way to go. Yeah, whatever. We'll we'll just wing it here. Mm, yeah, let's just. Got lots of space so I can even come up here get more of these that's garbage let's make this one about where'd my little border go oh yeah that'll be plenty big enough I want to save that flower Now let's just see if I go, if I cut it right there, that'll work. That'll work. I think I like it. 
There. Okay, so that'll be this belly band. I have to trim this green stripe off. Or maybe I'll leave it. Let's see. We need it to be about here. <clears throat> okay. I was going for either this one or this one. This is something we painted ourselves. That could look pretty. Let's see. Oh yeah, of course. Let's just take some of that off. Do you fit yet? Nope. I think I'm gonna take some of this brown one off. And now do you fit? Yes. And then I'm going to match up kind of the sides there. So we sort of have a bit of an even edge. Maybe like something like that. Now, if I go like, oh, that's kind of cute. I like it. I'm just gonna chop right there. I like it because it isn't it's different there's some contrast there and also this um, is watercolor paper so it isn't shiny whereas the magazine image is shiny so if we go like that and put that on there that's kind of an interesting belly band okay so we got two made we just have to glue or stitch them and then our last one is going to be, where did I go with this one? It was yellow with what was on it. Huh. I thought I had three different things here that I want. Okay, there's one, two. I wasn't doing that. No, no. Okay, I've lost, I've lost my, um, first thought. What was going on the yellow? It was the blue one. It was this one. Wasn't it? So what was going on this one? Oh guys. Oh my goodness. We could do that. Is that what I was thinking? Perhaps. Oh, wow, what a brain. What a memory. Woo! I think I can make this work, so let's do that. I need to go have a nap. Holy smokes. Um, okay, this needs to be trimmed, though. Because it is not that green. If the green stripe went all the way down, I would have kept it just like that, but it doesn't. So I'm going to cut that off. Did that work? Did I get it all? Nope. Need a little sliver more. Oh, it's so tricky working with these little tiny thin pieces. And these bad eyeballs I've got. That's terrible eyesight. Terrible. Okay. Oh well, we make it work, we make it work. So I can see that on there, but I feel like it's a little plain Jane. So maybe we will put a third something under this to jazz it up. I like to jazz it up. Yeah, maybe I'll just, I'm gonna find something darker to put under there. Where's my magic box? The magic box. Coming in. Coming in to help us. Here's my one scrap. It's bright. That, that's very bright. Let's see. We need to pull this up here so we can kind of see what, what might work. No, no. Too bright. 
Ooh, what's with just a little paper bag? A little bit of paper bag. Ah, kind of boring. I want something a little more colorful. And how about something like... No, too much. Too much of the same colors. We need something that gives it a little contrast. How about... Ooh, how about some blue... Is that too, too crazy? A little bit of that around there on top of, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh my heavens to Bitsy. Okay, I, uh, 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 I'll be right back. Found it, I found that little piece. I was searching high and low found it. Okay, so that was going to go with this and I just decided to put this piece on here, onto here because I wanted, I thought maybe, wouldn't it be kind of cool if we had like a double belly band. So I'm just carefully cutting it out right around the edge if I can. You know, I suck at cutting. I suck at cutting straight. But I think it'll be fine. Even if there's a little bit of over... Um, if you can see a bit of the beige paper under it, I don't think that matters. How's that? You can see a little bit right... There, but let's see if it ma even matters. It's not even going to matter. Okay, so if I glue the two sides down, then I'm thinking we could have a belly band like that and like that. So that might be kind of fun. So let's glue this to this, and then we'll glue it in our on our the page I want. Well, that sure doesn't look like a straight edge. Does it? Huh? Where's my cutter? <laughs> Sometimes I, I try to square things up and I end up with the um, smallest, tiniest little piece of cardboard because I just cut and cut and cut, straighten, straighten, straighten until there's nothing left. Okay, I think that's better. Yeah, that's going to go on there. Hey, that's going to look fabulous. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I had to actually go back and watch my video, watch this video as I'm making it, to try and remember what pieces went with what and where did I put that piece. And oi, 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 I tell you. <laughs> the struggle. Menopause brain. At least that's what I'm hoping it is. Menopause brain. Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Try and lay this down somewhat square. It's kind of, kind of straight. Is that kind of straight? Hope so. Hoping so. That looks all right. I think. Yeah. There. So once it dries, yeah, we'll have, where'd that other piece go? Where'd that card go? We'll have like a, a belly band here and also here. So this is the page I wanted to put it on. I think I need to ink that to make it sort of stand up, stand out. And I think I want to ink it with pink. Would that be crazy? Ink with pink? That might be crazy. You might think I'm crazy. Baby, it's not true. Okay, I'm going to trim that a bit because is that straight? 
<laughs> the same problem over and over. It's like deja vu. Okay, that that looks pretty. Sorry. Okay. I could ink it with just brown. Brown, you know, your what is that called? Vintage. Whatever. Vintage stuff. What's this called? Vintage photo. Ugh. Let's see. I'm just gonna see if it helps it stand out a bit on the page. Because this gray page is kind of busy, patterned, and I'm sort of losing my image here. Is that better? Yeah, I think that's better. Okay, so let's let's glue that one in there. Just gonna go for it with the old Tombow glue. And about halfway, we'll say is about there. Oh, oh, my glue, my glue smear in here. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Does that look straight? Sort of, kind of, maybe. isn't sticking. Hold on. Gotta give it a second. I could always sew it in too, but then I'd have little sew lines on this side of the page. I don't really want that. So if it doesn't stick, I'll come back and re-glue. But I think it's gonna work. Tombow glue is pretty good. So that'll be our one belly band. So that's our one signature. Nice. And we need a billy band in this one. So for this one, I've already made the band and it's just going to be a single belly band, not a double. And all I did off camera was I took that piece of floral paper and I glued it to some thicker um, cardstock so that when I slide my paper in, it's gonna, or my tag or journal card, it's going to have a little strength so it doesn't tear or whatever. Now on this one, correct me if I'm wrong, but weren't we gonna put this? I thought we were. And then I was kind of looking there, eh, that's kind of me, me. Maybe I should put a little lace. What, what do you guys think of that? As I'm looking at this though, I'm not crazy about it. I'm not crazy about it. Where did that other piece go? We have this piece right here. I feel like maybe I like that better. Do I want the lace? I think I do. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Blue book coming into view. Oh boy, I thought I'd be down here real quick making a video. No, it's taken me all day. I'm out of practice. I've lost my, my, uh, what do you call that? Oh great, look at that. I didn't even cut that the right. Okay, we gotta trim that off. Come here, scissors. Now this ought to be fun. She's gonna cut it crooked, just watch. She did too. She needs to take a little more off there. Just a We can cover that up with the lace. That'll be fine. All right. I like it. Do I 
I want it down a bit? I think I want it down a bit so we don't cover up the pattern. Okay. So for this, I'm going to get my fabric glue, which I have been storing upside down. Let's see, glue book. I'm going to just put, maybe I should just put it right on here. Hey, that's a thought. Let's just do that. Okay, let's see. We'll take our lace and we'll just plop it right on there, like a so. Get my little glue rag here. Wow, just about like I know what I'm doing, huh? I like it. Okay. I need uh, my fabric scissors just to cut that off. One sec. Okay. Maybe I can do it better this way. Okay. okay. This will go in here as our belly band. Right? Was it going there or was it going here? Do I have to rewatch this video again? Please say no. Please say don't do it. Just put it down. Good heavens. What do we got happening here? That's okay. I think we're going to put it right there. It's going to be a beautiful belly band. Yeah, because in here it blends. Let's put it here. It sort of pops. Well, I love it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Okay. Just like that. So now this is just going to be a single belly band. Where's my cloth? I'm getting a little sticky here. There. Cute. Let's see if I go through. Blah, blah, blah. Ta -da, da, da, da. Okay, so there's that one. And then on our first signature, I've got it going, where did it go? Right here, on this pink one. Yeah, okay, so we're just gonna, and this one, I layered, layered, layered. So I took the border picture from the magazine, I put it on a piece of, this um, scrapbook paper that looks like a chunk of wood on top of the yellow the yellow paper we had and then on top of the this stuff that I just used to make just um, some sort of scrapbook paper just to make it a little stiffer so that it um, has some strength when we're you know you're sliding paper in and out so it's gonna go like that and like that. So this one's a double. Okay, we'll just glue that down. Where is my Tombow? Right here. Under a bunch of papers. Gotta clean up my desk. Oh, I really gone to town today making a mess. Okay, so I want it like this. Kind of in the center. Ooh, it's 
it's a big piece it just barely fits on this page better make sure I've got um, make sure I've got it in the center there I think so oh isn't that pretty this one's my favorite because I love those watercolor flower images so that one's going there it will be a double yeah okay woohoo looks great okay I'm just gonna put it back in my journal you can see I've got little pieces of paper here just telling me what I'm gonna make to put on that page I kind of just went through with a few ideas and tucked them in they're just rough ideas so we'll see may not work may not be what I end up doing but for now it's kind of a just a guesstimate I guess okay so let's see if nothing's sewn in yet because I don't do that until the end it's just the way I do it because I like to have the freedom to pull the page out to work on it so pretend it's all sewn in there's our opening we did this okay and then oh that's something else something else I'm flipping through to my where is my belly band there's our first belly band pretty I like it yeah that's gonna look so sweet there and then if you flip through our next um, belly band Here's our second signature. Whoops, whoops. Second signature. There's our second belly band. Third signature. And there's our third belly band. Cool. All right, so that's gonna be the end of this video for today. I really have to go pack my suitcase for my next road trip. I'll be back in a couple days and I hope you'll join me then and we'll keep working on this Pioneer Woman inspired diary. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.